Hello everyone, so we're here at the School Ball Center, Culture Center, for the Caucus Award. You definitely want to stay tuned to all the interviews here on the red carpet. Supporting producers, directors, writers, isn't that amazing? I think it is, so you definitely want to stay tuned because we're going to do it. <laughs> no, you know what, she has, well, it's, it's incredibly important to be here. The fact that we get to be here and support all of these young artists, writers, producers, directors, and give them an opportunity and help them uh, create their dreams and, and their art, uh, the Caucus Awards is very special for that one reason, and the fact that I get to be here and support them in that is fantastic. I think it's extraordinarily important for our generation to help the next generation do the things that we did and accomplish far more than we ever thought of accomplishing. Um, and, and I think it's a great time in, in the history of the entertainment business for that day. decide what it is you really want to do and what story that you want to tell and which one would best serve you as an artist and, and I think that's easy enough to do now these young um, these young creative minds are so resourceful and they're so bright uh, and they have such a handle on what's happening now um, they can pretty much write their own ticket if they don't get caught up uh, in the extemporaneous stuff and just stay focused uh, and I think they uh, the skies to live Worker, but somebody who has leadership qualities because you take initiative and you're willing to work hard, that's really the key. So what advice would you give to the young people up and coming um, so that they can have longevity in this business? Well, one, it is really true that we reward hard work. Not only talent, but hard work and perseverance. So that's important. The other thing is, if you have creative instincts and you want to tell your story, take that iPhone or that. I'd be here to support the young filmmakers, producers, and writers because I think that it's so hard to get into this industry. And when you're a student, you need all the help you can get. So to have a foundation that can help you with cameras, with crew, with mentorship, with experience is instrumental because we're a visual medium. And if you don't have the equipment and the mentorship to tell your story, no one's ever going to hear your story. So it's completely instrumental. And, um, and I think we have to... I have a great concept for what you're doing. A great concept for your series. Something that when you put it on Facebook or you talk to your friends about it, they go, wow, I would really watch that. That sounds really cool. Um, number two is when you launch, you want to have something that will grab people right away in the first 15 or 30 seconds. You know, it's not like a TV series where you can take your time and build it up. This is something, you know, for the web, you want to just, bam, right out of the gate, grab people. And then thirdly, it's got to be something that you have a lot of passion for, that you can afford. Always, see, first of all, I always say to young people, look, at some point I'm going to be a really old lady and you all are going to be in charge and I don't want you to mess up. So whatever I need to do to help you, I will help you. So when I need to help, you'll be there to help me. It's kind of selfish, but it works. Um, I would say to young people, stay encouraged. This is, a this is a business that doesn't always lift you up. It's a very difficult road. Find a mentor. Somebody was talking back there. Find a mentor. This is a great organization. It's one of many great organizations organizations in town that are run by veterans, run by people that are high up in the industry that support emerging filmmakers and that is absolutely key in today's world. So what advice would you give to the young filmmakers? Ah, that's good. That's a, that's, a really, that's a good question. Keep going. Keep trying. Keep doing it and don't get discouraged because in my day and age you needed someone's permission to be a director in this day and age you do not need someone's permission to be a director. An iPhone you're holding your hand can make a film. You're on the board of the Found Caucus Foundation so I'm one of the people who reviewed all the films that are up for an award tonight, and uh, that's my participation. I help I help student filmmakers get the grants, and uh, I mentor and offer internships. So tell me one of the things that you look for when you're watching a film. You know, we're looking for a thorough story. I mean, everyone wants to see not just. It's a it's a very difficult process, and one you can't give up on. You have to keep going no matter what. And 
I think that's the key. You just have to you have to have that stick to itiveness. You have to believe in yourself, and to balance your belief in yourself, you have to be realistic about where your mistakes are and where your weaknesses are, rather than think, oh, my stuff is so great it can't be. You know, nobody can change it. Nobody can touch it. There's a there's a balance between believing in your work and knowing where your work is weak, and it's hard to find that. But more importantly, there's a significance beyond that to the evening and helping other people, helping, I don't want to say young people, but students can be any age, um, and Tell the, I'm on the board of Emerson College, and one of the things I'll tell the Emerson students is you might want to write for Modern Family, and that would be great if they would hire you, but it's not very likely coming out of school. But you might be able to write for their social media, and you might be able to help them get more Facebook views, or you might be able to help them with Twitter followers. So stuff that you know that they will hire somebody younger to try to do, because that helps them grow the larger business, and it helps you establish a foothold. Hello, everyone. I'm your girl, Melody Trice, and we have been here at the Scoobar Culture Center for the Caucus Award, 35th Annual. Isn't that amazing? So I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned to everything that's happening with the Melody Trice Show. Till next time, I'm your girl. Bye-bye.